Hey, I appreciate you checking out this video. It has been a few months since I've been on YouTube. I have been extremely busy working on my own business here. I'm really working on growing that. And then I've been traveling around a bit. I've been in Lima, Peru, probably twice in the last three months. I've been down to Florida a few times and we're actually in the process of moving down to Florida right now, me and my roommate currently in Virginia. So we're pretty excited for that. But in today's video, outside of all that, I do want to talk about Client Ascension. This is a program that I'm sure a lot of you have seen me tweet about. Um, I tweet about them a few times a month and answer really general questions around the program. And the reason why I do this is because I believe it's a valuable program. I believe it's very valuable for people that are starting out, especially in the online business space. If you want to make it in online business, I think Client Ascension is a great accelerator for you to join, to grow your business quickly, and to ultimately learn the skills that you need in order to do business online. So just a little bit of my background on and who I am, what I've done, and what led me to Client Ascension in the first place um, was first, I started freelancing in about 2017. I was in college and I was just picking up a few clients here and there just to, just to work on their websites and try to do good design work and really just pay for college. It started off very much as kind of like a side hustle and I always wanted to grow it. And fast forward, to about 2019 and I had kind of made it when it came to growing it. I had five figure months pretty consistently up until early 2020. Early 2020, we had COVID. COVID came in, kind of destroyed my client base. Everyone pulled out of contracts. And here's the thing, I could have fought them on those contracts, but I didn't because there was so much uncertainty with COVID, I was like, this is an act of God. I'm not gonna haggle you over you know, a $2,000 contract. And on top of that, I was super overworked because it was just me. I was doing sales, marketing, fulfillment, programming, client management, project management. I was just doing everything and I was exhausted. So it was kind of a blessing, at least for me, to stop working. And fast forward a few months into 2020, I had a chance to kind of recalibrate. I was like, I need a business partner that can handle the sales side and I just want to handle the project side. Um, so end of 2020, I joined up with another online entrepreneur. We started our second, my second company, and we scaled that company very quickly. We went from two of us and making $15,000 the first month to 60,000 within about five, six months. It was a pretty intense growth and I was head of all the projects. It was a great experience and I don't regret doing it. However, due to creative differences, basically my business partner not giving me the resources I needed uh, to really get the projects in a place where they needed to be, basically get the department in a place it needed to be. We were working on 50 projects uh, when I left the company and we had four project managers and a handful of developers. It was just getting really tough to meet deadlines without any extra cash to go out and hire who we needed to hire. Um, so I ended up leaving that in 2022, about a year ago, and I had to start over again. So third time starting over, but this time I knew I had the resources at my disposal. I had the expertise. I had learned a ton between the first two companies that I knew I could go out and do it again on my own. I ended up taking like a three month break. Uh, I went, became one of the top FIFA players in the world online is Messi and got a 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 Messi and hour weeks and my business partner was mad that I wasn't working more and I was like what more do you want from me it was a pain in the butt but needless to say I started over in June started doing some lead gen uh, started doing uh, LinkedIn and just getting my first few clients under my feet and then fast forward to uh, October I was starting to see a tiny bit of success I had a little bit of extra money coming in um, I was making somewhere me myself I was making somewhere between like four and five thousand dollars a month not a ton of money but it was enough to cover all my living expenses. I live in a relatively cheap city. So I was, I was Gucci. I was good. But then 
I kept noticing online, we had people, I've known Andre Heifel Jr. Uh, on through Twitter for like the last two years, year and a half, uh, probably two years now. And I knew some of his buddies, uh, Christian, Dan also. I knew them, I knew of them. Uh, I talked to Andre a few times, but is what I was looking at is I was looking at them on Twitter and I was like, I wanna turn Twitter into a lead gen platform. That's actually the reason I started looking into various coaching programs is I knew I wanted to make Twitter into a lead generating machine for me. So I looked at Tweets and Clients and Tweets and Clients is a program done by JK Molina. And the program looked really good. Uh, the price was fine. It was probably right where it should have been. But I got off that sales call and I was like, I don't know if that's the right fit for me right now. So I texted uh, Christian and I was like, yo, what do you know about Tweets and Clients? And he's like, look, man, like you might be at a better spot to join Client Ascension. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Uh, which is funny because they were targeting me with like 20 targeted ads a day across all social channels, but I hadn't thought of it. So I get on a sales call with them and I realize it's a very holistic program uh, for someone doing online business. So you're learning everything from lead gen across various mediums. Uh, you know, you're talking LinkedIn, you're talking email, a little bit on Twitter as well. And then also operations, fulfillment, and really just learning about all the facets of business. Now, do I really need to learn about operations? Do I really need to learn about sales tactics? Do I need to learn that? I'm someone that's been doing this for six, seven years. Do I really need to learn that? So my thought process going into it was that I needed to keep an open mind. I was like, look, this is an investment. This is an investment in myself and more importantly, my business. And if I can get just 0.1% better across everything, I'm going to end up growing my business significantly in the long term. So I told myself, keep an open mind. Let's grow by that 0.1% and just be the best that we can be. So I joined the program and the program was, it, it's a five figure program. Like it is a little bit pricey but I ended up paying for it and I got into the program and it was very quick. I got value out of it extremely quickly and I'm gonna tell you exactly what's in the program right now. So first thing is you get like an onboarding email and the onboarding email contains like a link to Kajabi. It contains a link to the Slack community where you'll spend a lot of the time. Now the Kajabi has a, it's basically a bunch of courses on how to do X, Y, Z. There's lead gen, sales, operations. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in there. There's like 300 videos that you can go through and learn. And so one of the things that I did is I picked apart some of the videos on the things that I was struggling with. I looked at them I was, and I looked at those and I was like, I'm on the right track. Something's just not quite clicking yet. So I, you know, I'm gonna go to this call, this lead gen call and ask my questions in there. I've gone through the videos, I've already done that. So that's what I did. I went to the lead gen calls, I got some feedback. I went, implemented the feedback, got 0.1% better um, because of that, right? And that's just what I did across all different facets of my company. I would have a question about operations or onboarding and I just go into the Kajabi, see what's in there and then implement it myself and see if it worked. And sure enough, most of it did. There's a few things that didn't work out for me and that's part of the thing with coaching. It's something that works for someone else isn't always gonna be the best thing for you. That's something to keep an open mind about when you join a program. So in any given week, there's like 13 coaching calls. There's a lot of coaching calls. And you can really learn about a lot of different topics that that you want it, that you want to learn about. So this is what my calendar looks like on Client Ascension. So first thing is they have this new call called Cold Email Campaign Review. Uh, they have the lead gen call with Nick Abraham, uh, LinkedIn growth uh, with Jeremy. Then we got sales on Tuesday, appointment setting, I believe that's with Dylan, Maility office hours. So each person in Client Ascension gets access to Maility. Maility is a cold email software that's used exclusively with G Suite. Personally, I think it's a dumb model, but um, you do get free access to the software. So if you're running a lead gen, agency specifically, and you're paying out your butt for Google inboxes, it's a great software to use. And anyway, they give it for free to all Client Ascension members, which is a huge value um, for a lot of people inside the program. For me, I'm not a fan of it just because I prefer to keep everything away from Google. I absolutely hate Google with passion, so I don't use it, but they have office hours for that. So it's in beta, uh, that's why they do office hours. So you're able to go in there, talk with the founders, and just be like, hey, this isn't working. Why and be able to get an answer or maybe troubleshoot it or you can let them know uh, you know that something's wrong and they're obviously gonna go fix it so then we have the art of response handling with David Jacob 
he's gonna rip you to shreds on response handling. I've been in that call a few times. Take it with a grain of salt just because of the fact of how he is as his personality. Love him, love what he does. He's gonna be very honest with you on why your sales calls might not be going the way that you want them to. He's gonna be brutally honest with you. There's no beating around the bush. I think it's a good call. Now we have the VSL call with Steven Trister, video sales letter. They have offers and strategy call. That's with Daniel Fazio. Melody office hours again on Thursday. Twitter monetization, operations with Andre. We have a Bible study call once a week as well. We have personal branding, and then we have mindset with, uh, I believe that's Mario Lanzaroni. Zip with Mario. Lens or lens or okay. Anyway, so anyway, there's a lot of value that comes into this course um, very quickly. Now, the other thing I do want to talk about that has made a big impact for me, and part of the reason I was so keen on joining the program was I was thinking, yes, I can get 0.1% better. I can get you know, 10 times better at anything that I'm at, and that's gonna have an ROI, right? But what's the other thing that's gonna have an ROI? The other thing that's gonna have a massive ROI is being able to connect with other entrepreneurs that are out there crushing it, right? The last thing I wanted to do is I didn't want to connect, and this is the problem with Money Twitter. On Money Twitter, there's a lot of loud voices out there, but they're absolute losers in the business space. And they're gonna try to connect with you, they're gonna try to sell you whatever they do, uh, they have zero experience doing it. Ultimately there's a lot of trash in the money Twitter space. By joining Client Ascension, you automatically weed all those guys out. You weed out all the guys that are not serious about their business and that are ultimately gonna hold you back. You, when you get into Client Ascension, you are in there with people that are killers at what they do. And that's 100% fact. The entry fee alone kind of justifies that. It helps weed out a lot of that. This is not utopian, whatever that course is, that's like $20 a month or whatever, which I'm sure has just, again, same thing as money, Twitter, you're gonna have the losers that you don't ever wanna connect with. A client essentially weeds all that out for you just because of the way the program's structured. This makes you as a business owner a lot more, a lot more dangerous for your clients. So for example, I had a client, she came to me and she was like, yeah, we wanna do SEO. And so I get on an SEO sales call with her after we did her website. And I was like, okay, why SEO? They're like, oh, we need leads. And I was like, this is a terrible way to get leads right now for you in particular. I'm gonna be like, look, you probably need a cold emailing specials and you should hit cold email. You should not worry about SEO, at least not yet. And she respected me for it. And I was like, I am in the process right now of getting one of my buddies from inside Client Ascension who already has experience with her industry and getting them onto a call so that they can talk business uh, and get that going. Now, what does that do for me? Did I lose out on a five figure SEO deal? Probably, that's fine and that's totally fine. However, I have probably just strengthened that relationship with my client because I was able to refer someone specifically for her problem, someone that knows her problem and can help with it. That is extremely dangerous as a business owner. That builds a lot of credibility. The fact that I'm willing to pass up on money for the well-being of my client and make sure that they're doing well, that is, that is a high ROI activity right there. And that's something that you only get inside a client ascension. You can find, you know, if you need someone to pay ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok, TikTok organic, uh, TikTok ads, uh, video editing. I mean, like you name, you name it. There, There is probably someone in Client Ascension for whatever you need that you can get a referral from or refer to. Extremely important. I think that is one of the most dangerous things inside of the program. So the other thing about the program is, like I said, you weed out a lot of the bad actors, you weed out a lot of the losers on Money Twitter. Uh, but the one thing that I do have to add is that there are people that join the program that are just starting out on their journey. They might be making $2,000 a month in their business, and that is totally fine. And here's the difference between someone inside a client Ascension making $2,000 a month versus someone on Money Twitter or in any other community making $2,000 a month. That person making $2,000 a month is gonna grow. They will not lose inside of Client Ascension. Here's what I mean by that. Client Ascension has a guarantee that if you don't add $10,000 a month to your business while being in the program, they will give you your money back. That is how confident they are that they can get any business that has had some sort of track record of results up to $10,000 a month and beyond. You know, so for that business that's doing $2,000 a month, 
they're gonna grow and they are gonna do really well. And that kind of leads me into a question that I get a lot is, how much money should I be making before I join Client Ascension? So look, they're pretty flexible on their payment terms and whatnot, and I'm, I'm not gonna go into like, the payment plans or whatnot, you can jump on a sales call and you can figure out all that um, with whoever your sales rep is. I'm not gonna sell that to you. Um, but the thing that I will say is that you probably wanna be making at least two grand a month. Uh, if it were me, actually, if I were giving this advice to someone else, I would say you probably wanna be at like the four grand a month range. If it's me, someone that already has experience doing web design, doing digital marketing, and I wanted to get plugged into a community, I feel like I could have justified the ROI at $2,000 a month in my own business and then spending that on the program. The reason being is because I've gotten an ROI from the program based on the things that I've learned, based on the email campaigns that I have had the chance to run, based on the people that I've met inside the program. And then on top of that, I have closed multiple deals inside of the program program of people looking for my services. Now, on the flip side, uh, you know, I've had people can do consulting on cold email for me inside the program or, you know, server infrastructure or whatever it is. There's a massive ROI by being in the program and you lose out on a lot not being inside of it. On top of that, if you can accelerate your business growth, are you not going to do it? Yeah, when I joined the program, I was making about $8,000 a month. Now remember, their guarantee is add $10,000 a month or you don't pay. Within two months, I was at $21,000 a month inside of the program. And that number, you know, that number is gonna continue to go up. And I'm just from the stuff that I've learned and the people I've been connected to inside of the program. So look, here's the thing, client ascension, is it for everyone? No, of course not. Do I think if you're running an online business, you're serious about networking with other killers, you need to learn and accelerate your business, it is hands down the easiest way to do that. So with that being said, I would highly recommend checking them out. I have a link in the description uh, to go check them out and you can see what they're all about and see if it's a fit for you. Uh, again, I highly recommend it. The only complaint I have with the program is that they have so many coaching calls that you can't keep up with all of them if you're actually biz busy in your business every day. I wish I could go to all of them. I don't have time. Um, and that's my only real complaint with the program is that it does move quick and that's all right. I can always watch the recordings later if there's something I miss. I can always review the notes in the Slack channel. But yeah, they go through a lot of calls. Anyway, other than that, I appreciate you getting to this part of the video. Make sure to hit like, hit subscribe. Ask me your questions about Client Ascension in the comments. I'd be more than happy to really answer anything that I can. And I'm sure I'll do a second version of this video soon. Um, so make sure to smash that subscribe button. Uh, but other than that, you know, other announcements coming from my side. Uh, I am coming out with an SEO video in the next few weeks on what you need to do for local SEO. That's going to be a really banging video if you are a local based business. The other thing uh, that is coming up is I am moving down to Florida in two weeks. Very excited for the move. You are in the Tampa area. If you're in the Orlando or Miami area, hit me up. Let me know. Would love to network and meet up with some of you. But other than that, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching and we will see you.